Hello, I'm Dr. Ned Valancourt, and I want to teach you about surrogate tapping. If you have a loved one or a friend who is sick, anything from mildly sick to seriously ill, you can use EFT tapping to help them and support them in dealing with their pain, their illness, enhancing their immune system, fighting their symptoms, and dealing with all the fears that may come with the diagnosis of a serious illness. Briefly, for those who don't know, EFT is an acupressure technique that has been found to be 80% successful in overcoming fears, physical pain, anxiety, and even physical disorders. I've used it myself to help my cousin overcome uh, a severe bout of psoriasis. So, instead of feeling helpless and wringing your hands about a person who is ill, you can learn how to do surrogate tapping. Basically, what surrogate tapping means is that you are tapping on your body, and, your, and I'll show you the points, as if you are that other person. And the more you know about what the other person is going through, the more specific you can be in your tapping, but you can also tap for general issues such as pain, fear, worry, those sorts of things. So for instance, say you have a friend whose name is April and she's very sick and you know something about her illness. Then the way that I do surrogate tapping is when I'm doing my setup statement, which is helping me to focus on the problem, to aim at the problem, I will use that person's name. So the setup statement goes in the form of, my name is April, and even though I have a lot of fear about this serious illness that I've just been diagnosed with, and then the second half of the statement, the default is always, I deeply love and accept myself. Now, in the course of tapping, I may show you some different ways to use that, but I want to give you a very basic recipe so that you can insert any particular problem that the person's having that you know about and um, tap on that. So let's start off with the basic fear. Oftentimes when we get a diagnosis of a serious illness, um, it's very scary. It's terrifying in fact. And fear is one of the first things that you have to deal with. So I'm going to show you a round of how to tap on fears of receiving a serious diagnosis. So we start off with what's called the karate chop point, And it's just the fleshy part of the outside of either hand and you take two fingers and you gently tap on it. And this is where we create our setup statement and we repeat it three times to begin to clear the energetic blocks to receiving the new information. So my name is April and even though I'm terrified of having received a diagnosis of a very serious illness, I deeply love and accept myself. Oh, and I always forget this part. Not always, but I'm remembering it now. It's important to set a an intensity rating before you start tapping so you can tell if uh, the intensity of that fear or that pain has gone down so I'm going to assume that when somebody receives a diagnosis of a serious illness that they're probably at a 10 okay so we'll go back to the karate chop point even though I have received my name is April and even though I've received this diagnosis of a serious illness and I am terrified. I'm so worried. I'm afraid I'm going to die. I'm afraid I'm going to leave my loved ones behind. I'm afraid I have so much unfinished business in the world. I deeply love and accept myself. Even though my name is April and I've just received this diagnosis of this serious illness and I'm afraid I'm going to die or I'm afraid I'm going to be in pain. I don't know what's coming. I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I've just received this diagnosis of this terrible illness, I'm so afraid that I'm going to die, I'm going to be in pain, or I'm not going to be able to continue my life as I know it. I deeply love and accept myself. So what you're doing here as you're tapping three times and repeating that is you're clearing the resistance in your energy field, in your body, in your subconscious mind to accepting the new information that can come in and the healing that can come in. So it's just like removing the psychological spiritual and physical resistance. The next spot is on the top of your head and I usually take my fingers and bunch them together, tap on the, lightly on the tender spot on the top of my head. And this time we don't do the whole setup statement or the tapping statement, we just do a shorthand version of it. So I will say 
this tremendous fear of this terrible diagnosis. Then I take two fingers and tap near the bridge of my nose. It's called the inside of the eyebrow point. I'm so afraid of this terrible diagnosis. And you're tapping about seven times on each one of these points, at least seven times. Go to the outside of the eyebrow near, still on your eye socket. I'm so afraid of what the doctors just told me about my diagnosis. And then you go under the eye, right below the pupil, but still on the eye socket. I'm so fearful of what's going to happen because I just received this terrible diagnosis. And then the next one's called the, the nose point, but it's actually under the nose. And again, you're tapping two fingers and repeating this fear that I have about my diagnosis or the diagnosis. I wouldn't say my diagnosis because never claim an illness, never claim a diagnosis. Your subconscious mind is supposed to call it the diagnosis. This terrible fear I have about the diagnosis. And I don't know if you just noticed that, but I sighed a little bit. And that's a sign that the blocked energy is beginning to unblock. The two things to watch for are deep sighs and or yawns. That's a definite sign that something is shifting. Okay, so this terrible fear about the diagnosis in the future. And this is called the chin point. It's right in the cleft part of the chin. This terrible fear about this diagnosis and the future, what the future is going to bring. The next one's called the collarbone point, and it's it's either side of that little U-shaped notch in your neck, and sometimes when I have people tap just on one side, they kind of drift out here. So the way I like to do it is to make a fist and tap right over that little U-shaped notch in your neck. It's called the collarbone point. And again, repeating, this terrible fear about my, the, see I do it again, the terrible diagnosis that the doctors gave me, the doctors think I have. And then another point is under the arm, this is what I call the chimpanzee move. It's about the middle of your bra strap for us women, and it's about four inches down or a hand width down from the top of your, of your armpit. Tapping there, this terrible fear, I just received a bad diagnosis. And those are the major points that I'm going to have you continue to tap on. And what, what I do is I continue to tap with somebody about this fear. And keep the, all this fear. This tremendous fear of the unknown. I'm afraid I'm going to die. I'm afraid I'm going to die. I'm afraid I'm going to leave my family and friends behind. I'm afraid of what's ahead. I'm afraid of all the pain. I'm so afraid of the unknown. I am so afraid of the unknown. I'm so afraid of the unknown. The unknown and all this pain. I'm afraid of what's ahead. I'm afraid of what's ahead. I don't know what's happening. It's all happening too fast. I'm afraid of what's ahead. I'm afraid, all this fear, all this fear, notice that sigh, all this fear, all this fear, all this fear, all this fear, all this fear. And what I like to do and I encourage you to do is to keep tapping until you have, a, and stop and check in once in a while like I'm going to right now, to see if it's still, all this fear is at a 10. So I'm going to check in with myself, take a deep breath, let it out. So it's actually down to about a six. It was kind of at an eight, seven, six as I was checking in. Just checking in with my body, my thoughts, and my emotions to, to rate the level of this sphere. Okay, so I really encourage you, in, whether you're doing tapping actually for yourself or surrogate tapping, is to continue to tap until you get that upset, that concern, that pain, that fear down to a zero. So what you do is, now that we're down to a six, is we go back to the karate chop point. And we tap here. Even though I still have a lot of fear about this diagnosis and the future, I deeply love and accept myself. And I'm going to throw in a little, a few new things with the, the, the end of the, the tail end of the statement. Even though I still have a lot of fear about this diagnosis in the future, what if I'm okay? See, we're entering a question mark now. And that kind of shifts people sometimes into neutral, away from the fear. One more time, even though I have all this fear about this diagnosis and what the doctor said and the unknown that's coming in the future, what if it all works out and I'm okay? I'm open to that. I'm really open to that.
Okay, so it's back to the top of the head. This remaining fear, this level six fear, I still have some fear about what the doctor said. I still have some fear about the future. I can't imagine not having the fear. But what if I, I allow it to go away and replace it with love and peace? This is always important. If you're taking something away, replace it with something. What if I replace this fear with love and peace? Top of the head. Oh, I still have some fear. I still have some fear. I can't imagine not having this fear. Fear is natural, right? No, love is natural. Fear is natural. No, love is natural. Fear is natural. No, love is natural. You notice I'm switching arms. It's just because my arms are tired. Love is natural. I'm so afraid. I still have some fear. I still have some fear. I still have some fear. But I choose to focus on love instead. I choose to fear, fill my mind and body, every cell of my body, with love. I choose to fill every cell of my body with love. I accept and I receive all the love that's coming towards me. I accept and I receive all the love that's coming towards me and through me. I accept and receive all the love that's coming towards me and through me. I accept and receive all the love that's coming towards me and through me. Because as Marianne Williamson said, you can't be in a state of fear and love at the same time. So if it was a choice, it was up to me, I would choose love every single time. So by tapping away some of the fear first, before you start tapping about the love, you're clearing the way for love to have a space. So as I'm continuing tapping, I'm thinking about sending love, and I'm energetically in alignment with love instead of fear. And my energy is connected to my loved one's energy because truthfully, we're all connected. We're all one anyhow. So what I change in my body is helping them change in their body. So for instance, if I wanted to shift away from tapping about fear and I want to tap about a strong immune system instead, I could do that. So let's do that. I'm still going to be April. But I'm going to tap about a strong immune system because oftentimes when we have illnesses, the doctors are trying to, to eradicate the symptom. But what we really need is to restore our body's immune system and its ability to um, heal itself. We are self-healing systems. So we're going to do some tapping to encourage the immune system. So even, uh, let's see. So we're going to use a statement, I have a weakened immune system. And that's what we're aiming at. We're aiming at the weakened immune system in order to strengthen it. And I say that I believe that 100%, otherwise I wouldn't have this illness. So we're going to tap on that. Even though I have this weakened immune system that's causing me to have these symptoms, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I have a weakened immune system that's causing me to have these symptoms, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I have a, a compromised immune system that's causing me to have these symptoms, I deeply love and accept myself. We're going to do a couple rounds on that weakened immune system. There's this weakened immune system. There's my weakened immune system. My weakened immune system. Again, seven times on each point. My, my immune system isn't working right. My immune system isn't working right. My immune system isn't working right. Something's up with my immune system. Because I know my body knows how to heal itself. It's done it many times before. My body knows how to heal itself. It's done it many times before. My body knows how to heal itself. It's done many times before. My body knows how to heal itself. It's done it many times before, and it can do it again. It can do it again. What if my immune system suddenly were stronger? What if my immune system easily took care of this illness? What if my immune system easily and readily took care of this illness? What if my immune system easily and readily took care of these symptoms? 
what if my immune system easily and readily took care of these symptoms? That it woke up and started to do what it's supposed to do, what it knows how to do. What if my immune system easily and readily cleared these symptoms? I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay. I really would be okay with that. I would really be okay with that. I would so welcome that. I welcome my immune system to wake up and do what it does naturally. I have a strong immune system. We're going to do affirmations now. Even though I don't think I have a strong immune system, what if I do? Even though I don't think my immune system is very strong, what if it's recovering already as we tap? Even though I don't think I have a very strong immune system, what if it's recovering already when, as I tap? What if this tapping helps recover and restart my immune system so it can help heal me, so it can fight whatever this illness is? These germs, this virus, this cancer, this, this, these toxins, whatever is in my system, my immune system automatically knows what to do. It automatically knows what to do. It automatically knows what to do. Okay. So I want to keep this short and give you some examples of how to use this. And hopefully I'll have some time to continue to post about surrogate tapping. Um, I need to run off to the hospital and see a friend of mine. And um, I thank you so much for tapping along to help any of your loved ones. This is a powerful way to supercharge your prayers and another way to send positive energy and literally align your body with theirs um, and, and get in a positive frame, frame of mind, positive energy, because it really does connect to their energy as well. So thank you very much.